Thanks, guys, again for joining me. This is the Cats with Jamis casting the SC Reddit Open. Please visit our sponsors at NewGamesNinja.com. Of course, if you sign up now and get word on when all the newest games come out, check them out at NewGamesNinja.com. Also, big thanks to our tournament organizers at SCReddit.com and StarCraft.Reddit.com as well. So down here at the 6 o'clock position on Lost Temple, we have our green Masters level Zerg player. He is Vile Psy. So Psy, his opponent is here at the 3 o'clock position on Lost Temple, which DDE will be happy to see here in a second, and I'll explain why. DDE is our Red Terran player. So two extremely high-level Masters players going at it here. At the SC Reddit Open. Now, we are close positions. Of course, at the 3 and 6 o'clock position means that there's a very short walk distance between the two bases. DDE asking if anyone feels lag. I don't see any on my end. Must be on DDE's end. But, so there are two things here. One, with being close walk distances, it means that if DDE decides to push for a two racks opening with some uh, bunker pressure and side to side to fast expand, those Marines will be there in a heartbeat, not a long walk distance. The second thing about this map, and especially being close positions, is that there's a very short distance to get to the cliff that surrounds size expansion. So he may not fast expand uh, right away because he wants to go ahead and um, get up some units so he can make sure he can hold it. I totally lie, because there's the 15 expansion coming down, so DDE may decide to go ahead and drop into a drop here, put up some siege tanks or Thors on the high ground and try and deny that expansion. Right now, though, he is going after a double barracks play. He's bypassing gas, and he is just going to try and get up as many marines as possible to deny that expansion. So DDE running back with his SCVs, morphing in his orbital command, starting to put up those Marines, and he is going to be very aggressive about attacking here. Wait a second, where did DDE... Oh my god, DDE actually went to close positions by air first when he was scouting, so he actually doesn't know where his opponent is at at this point. So now he's checking cross positions. No, it'll be the third of those. So a couple of Marines coming up now. And DDE is putting up his SCVs as well, but he is just gearing up for a nice big push. Good number of Marines up. Where are they rallied to? Just to the Zelnaga Tower. First Marine is out. And the drone does run away. Taking a look at size base, he does have a spawning pool up. Now it is finished, putting out four Zerglings and a Queen to go ahead and hold off these Marines. But there's already three Marines out. They're going to move down. There is a spine crawler on the way, but is it going to be enough? DD running into his opponent's base, doing a little bit of scouting there. He is gearing up for a pretty big Marine push. He has five out already, still two more being produced. Still no gas. Here comes DDE. This spine crawler is not quite done. He is backing up until he has enough forces to engage. Psy with a nice response here. He does have up enough units to hold this off, but he is down in economy already. So DDE still with the advantage in terms of workers, and he has the mule. But Sai is trying his best not to overcommit and not putting up a ton of units. So Zorgling's now moving out. And it appears as though DDE is throwing down his expansion. So two and still no gas. Ooh, first gas is being constructed for DDE. The Zorgling's coming up. One immediately gets picked off. A second gets orange barred. But DDE is going to move in now. He was waiting for a little while. There is one spine crawler up. Is he going to attack it? No. That spine crawler just kind of bobbed its big tentacle for a second and didn't attack. So DDE now moving to the Zelnaga Tower. Still more Marines coming out. Still another gas being constructed at the same time. And DDE is moving out now. Back to the Zelnaga Tower, gearing up this huge force of Marines. Sai about to finish his second spine crawler. He is moving back at this point. DDE just fainting forward slowly but surely. Trying to get Sai to overcommit. Oh, but Sai has not started Zergling speed. And those Zerglings are being forced away. Have to retreat back to creeps so they can be effective against those Marines. So let's take a look at the... Unit counting station. It appears as though Sai is down in army. He is now up in economy. He was down a second ago, but he is droning up pretty effectively. DD going to move in. Picks off two circlings very quickly. Sai does go ahead and cancel this Greek tumor. Smart move. 
And Psy does appear ready to receive a pretty big attack. The Spine Crawlers will be able to hold out for quite some time. And Psy putting up another five drones in addition to the 35 that he has. He'll have up a huge amount here in just one second. DDE is researching Stimpak and now finally putting up a couple of upgrades in addition to his reactor. He is going to try and move in slowly but surely, just trying to get those Zerlings just to run up for a little bit. Nice spread on the units here for DDE. Scan goes down, takes out a couple of creep tumors. Very nice. And Psy basically loses all of the creep spread that he had gone for. So beautiful scan. DDE ready now with a bunker at his base. He only has a couple of Marines over at the Zelnaga Tower. It doesn't appear as though he is converting over to any sort of drop play, though. He does have the fourth barracks coming up. Ooh, Marines running away. Zergling speed still not being researched at all. But we do have plus one missile attacks, a second evolution chamber, and a roach speed coming up at the same time for Psy in addition to his Hydralisk Den. So Hydralisk Den coming up. Psy is going to go ahead and get ready with his roaches. Moving up once again with his Zerglings and immediately loses two, almost a third. So Stimpak is done. Combat shields now on the way. DDE ready with a couple of defensive structures in case his opponent decides to attack, but now DDE has an overwhelming force. And Sai is going to have to start pumping out some units soon. He has droned up very effectively. He's starting to put out a few roaches, but DDE with a pretty good timing on this attack. As there's not much waiting for him, he does scan. Gonna move in. There goes the stim. One spine crawler goes down, taking out these roaches very quickly. Queen gonna fall as well. There it goes. Sai pulling the rest of his drones. A lot of those gonna go down, gonna lose some of that economic advantage. He actually loses both queens. That was probably the biggest hit of this attack. And DDE moving in now and trying to take out the rest of the Roaches. Roach is being target fired down, but there are some Hydralists and other units here to go ahead and defend this as well. And I think that Sai is going to hold this off. DDE is being forced to retreat at this time. So DDE moving back now to the bunkers. Take a look at the aftermath. Sai actually has the larger army, and he has a more well-developed economy at this point. DD not actually producing any workers, actually teching up to double factory at this juncture. Man, DD is ready to move out here again in just a second. Gonna push out to the Zelnaga Tower. Sai is ready to engage, though. Stim is gonna have to come down. Stim, he's actually stimming backwards. Now running up again. Gonna stand in there and engage. Just trying to get those units to come back to the bunkers, I suppose. Doing some hit and run tactics. Those two factories are almost done. They're about three quarters of the way done. Back on Psy's side of things, we do have plus two weapons coming back, coming up in addition to Ground Carapace level one. He is researching Groove Spines for his mutal, for his Hydralis, I'm sorry, in addition. But other than that, he just has to watch his supply and he'll be okay. So DD has gone ahead and saturated a few of these bunkers. He has three up, fourth on the way. He is producing workers at a pretty good clip. And he's almost caught up in economy to his opponent. So now double tech lads coming down on these factories. I haven't seen an armory yet. It's just an engineering bay on the way. So these are going to be used for siege tanks, it appears. Yes, one siege tank, now two siege tanks being produced at the same time. So Sai has a pretty good amount of forces up. He is still up by 17 food overall. But DDE has a pretty defensible structure, especially if he gets a couple of tanks up to watch the low ground. So, Vilesai moving back in. He uses an Overseer to go ahead and look at the high ground, but that's not going to happen. He is just going to move up one more time. So, Vilesai going to attack into these bunkers. DD stimming his units forward. One of the bunkers goes down. Sai still standing in here and engaging. The Siege Tank going to get target fired down pretty quickly. Standing there doing its damage, though. And I think that Sai is going to be pulled back. A few more units are stemmed forward. The rest of these Hydralists are going down. But Sai is still up by almost 20 food. So we need to take a look at the aftermath of that. Psy has the larger force. Looks like he'll try and press in here in a second again, misrallying one of his roaches there for a little while. But now DDE is ahead in terms of economy. So DDE will be producing at a better clip. Psy floating a little bit of resources. Needs to think about an expansion here sometime soon. Siege mode is now done for those siege tanks. See here in...
JD is going to transfer some SUVs. He may be thinking about an expansion of his own. So we finally do have an expansion going down for Sai over at the 3 o'clock position. Or 9 o'clock position, my apologies. So he's going to hide it out of the way for a little while. Doesn't want to be so bold as to take the gold or anything along those lines. So bold as to take the gold. That was terrible. There is a medevac up, though, so we'll see if he decides to drop indeed. DD getting ready with a drop. So we do have a bunch of units as it's being pointed out to me there. Roaches over at the top. TD is forced to retreat because a few overlords were in the way. See if he decides to put up a tank drop or something along those lines. Could be pretty powerful now. But no, it looks like he actually just wants to make a big coordinated push. Getting up a few siege tanks to move along with this. He actually has a good number of siege tanks. This roach unfortunately going to die immediately. And TD is going to push in one more time. He is going ahead and sieging up his tanks, slow pushing them into his opponent's base. He's going to try and get those units to attack and then move back. But look at this. Sai is ready to go with those roaches, but... Sensor Tower did just finish, and DDE is well aware that there are some units sitting there. So DDE sieging up now. He does put the scan down. Couple of Kree tumors are going away. DDE doing a very nice job of denying all of this creep. And now Sai looks like he wants to move up. Another siege going down. And Sai gathering the rest of his units and pulling out of the way. He is up by 40 food at this juncture. It looks like DDE wants to take the gold. Oh, very ballsy move. But Sai has up just a ton of units, and they are on 1-2 upgrades. These Marine Marauder Force for DDE is only on one weapons upgrade. So Sai, with a stronger army, not only in terms of food, but also in terms of strength. Now we're going to have a little bit of posturing back and forth until Sai maxes and decides to move out. So this is a pretty defensive position for TDE, but he is giving up a lot of access to his natural and his main. So, a little bit of posturing back and forth. I really thought that DDE would have dropped at this point to go ahead and defend. Another drone going over here to the next expansion for Psy. And I believe that DDE is tired of waiting. Picks off one roach. And it looks like he's just going to defend that expansion, so he really needs to start getting himself up some economy. Psy is almost maxed, however. Take a look at the upgrades for DDE. He is now on 1-1 one, one upgrades for his ground. He's also about to finish Terran Vehicle Weapons Level 1. Creep Highway being put down on those overlords. Path of, oh, sorry, Ventral Sacks now being upgraded for those roaches for Psy. Psy is going to lose both those overlords there, or at least push them away. DDE appears to be ready to move in here in just one second. He does take control of the Zelnaga Tower, which is going to assist him with his siege tank range. Because he'll be able to see just basically as far as he wants. So taking a look at the units tab, size up by 15 workers. But this, um, this gold expansion is now ready to go. I expect to see some SEVs being transferred over to that here in the near future. And we do have a drop here at the 12 o'clock position. So DD wants to go ahead, and I think he's just flying all the way around. Is he aware of the presence of that expansion? No, he is not. So DD sitting there with that medevac. Not ready to go anywhere yet. Both players are basically maxed. And a little stim goes in, takes out a queen and a couple of units. And here we are going to have the drop for DDE. He's got to move in right now, taking out a couple of those drones. A very nice amount of damage being done. Stim goes down. There goes down the queen as well. Big loss for Sai. Sai losing quite a bit of forces. Going to lose his hatchery if he doesn't rally anything in. He does bring in some roaches, though. And I think that DDE is going to be forced to pick this up. He's just standing in there and trying to take this out. Now finally does turn around. So DDE saving up some good forces as well. He is upgrading to... Um, level 2 weapons for his infantry and for his siege tanks. He's going to slow push here into the natural. And 
And so Sai is getting ready. Yes, he does have a huge amount of units queued into these overlords. Got to drop out here in a second. And here comes the coordinated attack. Drop going down at the siege tanks. Stim comes down from DDE. He is getting surrounded at the moment. But Sai is losing everything. Sai just lost his entire army, dropping into those tanks. And DDE is now in an incredible position. So DDE moving in one more time. Going to take out this hatchery from Sai. It's going to go down pretty quickly. Sai trying to expand again over to the 9 o'clock position. All the rest of these roaches got to go down. Scan goes down on the high ground as well, so the DDE can just move up and rip through the rest of the roaches. A counterattack going in into the siege tanks, and DDE is going to be forced to turn around. Or at least bring in some units. But DDE has completely denied one expansion. He's got another drop ready to go on the high ground here as well. And no units are over there to stop that. But at the same time, Sai is going ahead and taking out all of these... Uh, Roach, oh, I'm sorry, all of the SCVs there. But Sai is forced to GG, so DDE takes game number one of this best of three set in the round of 16 at the SC Reddit Open.